Greetings, everybody. I got Maria here and Nicola, and we're going to be doing the SafeX development update September 10th, 2017. Right off the bat, we've been working this past week with Ivana, who is our economist, on the economics of the Chile marketplace. So that includes the SafeX return on investment calculator based on the transaction fees of the Chile marketplace. That also includes like listing fees, it includes the settlement fee, and a percentage of that goes to SafeX holders. And we've been working with possible volume projections and seeing a lot of analysis of different marketplaces such as Amazon, Alibaba, and eBay. And we're gonna outprice them and compete directly with those big marketplaces. And so far the projections are looking very handsome and uh, it's very exciting to see those initial calculations. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. And you know, just as a preliminary, in this preliminary moment and in the future, you'll be able to see, like we said, in a few weeks, we'll be publishing a draft about the mechanics of the Chile marketplace and how we're going to earn dividends from that. Uh, so during, during that, those meetings with Ivana, we were deliberating a lot of the designs for the marketplace and the way that people are going to use it. Already, it's, we've been getting a lot of feedback from the community. It's really amazing to see that most of the community who is bringing that feedback are already using eBay, Amazon, Alibaba, and already know the limitations, how they're expensive. It's really a bubble in those e-commerce platforms and something really needs to change there. So it's really great to get that kind of feedback and the fact that many people in the community are already using these very, very stable and legitimate marketplaces, but things need to change because things are costly. There's uh, poor economics f around the fiat currencies that are used and the payment methods are really cumbersome. So very exciting to be dealing into the Chile, the marketplace, the, the mechanics and the economics of that marketplace. So I've personally been coding on the uh, alpha stage of the Chile marketplace, the basically building the blockchain and and all the cryptographic primitives related to getting our blockchain up and running. So with that said, exactly, I've been dealing with the crypto library this past week and I'll continue to be doing that and I'll keep us updated on progress in the Chile blockchain development. Uh, furthermore, we're gonna dive, uh, spend a little bit of time back into the SafeX wallet. We're gonna update so that you can see your transaction history for a certain address and the ability to archive some addresses. So. If you created keys, you might have some keys that you want to store, like you don't use them every day, so you want to put them in your archive, or maybe you could put them back into your, into your main wallet area so that you can kind of organize things more easily there. And there's a few other fixes like being able to copy and paste from the keyboard or to see your balance in dollars, for example. Um, more, more from the team is uh, Milan has a number of high profile meetings this week uh, with potential partners, with potential investors. So that's, uh, I'll be participating in a, in a few of those meetings, but I'll leave it to him to update us on the progress as he closes deals or, or gets people on board or some companies on board. And there are some fairly big, interesting names involved there. Uh, very excited to see the progress and, and to present it to everybody. And uh, finally, as you probably heard, we, we mentioned this about you know, a couple weeks ago or so, that uh, Nicole and I will be flying to Japan. And uh, you know, on this week, we're gonna be booking our flights. So uh, we'll have more information on that in the following weeks to come. And um, that's it. That's it for this SafeX developer update off the top of my head. Um, and some of these notes I wrote down. I think another interesting thing was we visited with the president of Lieberland over the weekend and sailed on the Liberty ship over to, to visit the land and, and that stuff and was a really amazing meeting with the president and the progress that's going on on the Lieberland front and just the global community that's expanding through Lieberland was very exciting. So just happy to mention that. Thanks everybody for listening. Say, say hey to everybody. Bye, everybody. Hey, bye.